In this lecture, we are going to cover an important topic of fluid dynamics, which is named as pulsating flow between two parallel surfaces. So, to start this topic, first of all, we will assume what are our assumptions? So our assumptions are about fluid is incompressible. What is meaning of incompressible fluid? Where density will be constant. Second assumption will be unsteady flow. What is unsteady flow? A flow depends upon time, the time dependent flow is called unsteady flow. Pressure effect and fourth assumption is body force is absent. What is meaning of body force is absent? This will be G will be equal to zero. Fifth assumption is that one dimensional flow either it is in x direction y direction or this flow is in z direction then this will be one dimensional flow first of all after assumptions we will write equation of continuity then Navier-Stokes equations. These are Navier-Stokes equations. Equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. After this, we will write equation of continuity which was written above. Then we will consider our one dimensional flow so this uh, value of v is equal to zero this is u v w so u is equal to u initial uh, first velocity v is equal to zero and w is equal to zero so this implies equation of continuity will converge or will convert into partial e or partial x is equal to zero <coughs> then this will implies u is equal to zero so we are putting our assumptions one by one so for unsteady flow these condition will hold and uh, our equations nail stokes equation 1 2 3 and 4 will be written as 4 5 and 6 equation second assumption was body 4 is absent so if body force is absent then gravity force acting will be equal to zero along x, y and z axis. We if we write these values in equation four, five and six, then new equations are equation seven equation 8 and equation 9 our third assumption was that flow is one dimensional this implies equation 7 will be equal to equation 10 equation 8 will converge or will be converted into equation 11 and 9 is converted as this so partial p over partial c and partial p over partial y 
is equal to 0 means pressure is not function of z and y so after this we can write as equation 12 so these are our conditions boundary conditions initial conditions we can say equation 13 and 14 so we will use these conditions then if we use equation 15 in equation 12 so what will be new equation after putting this value is named as equation 16 this is second order partial differential equation we know the methods to determine the solution or root of second order partial differential equation these are our assumptions so there will be equation 17 this is solution of equation 12 differentiate equation 17 with respect to t partial u over partial t will be equal to this uh, we will get, get equation 18 after getting question uh, equation 18 differentiate 17 we will differentiate equation 17 for further uh, solution of these type of questions differentiate 17 2 times with respect to y so equation 19 and after this equation 20 after second derivative put in equation 18 and 20 in equation 12 so this is expression where which will we will get get after uh, using that equation equations values in equation 12 so we will get finally equation 21 this is second order homogeneous equation so uh, this can be written as 22 and if we further write this equation this will be equal to 23 and if we write in factor form so uh, this equation is uh, obtained so we know that y is equal to yc plus yp general solution will be equal to contemporary solution or uh, complementary function plus yp what is yp yp is particular solution so yc uh, is con con contemporary or uh, we can say complementary function and yp is particular integral if we add these two solutions we will get final solution so write this equation in that form and we will write its roots what are the roots of this equation so this is final uh, equation then d will be equal to these two solutions and fc complementary function or solution will be equal to equation 24 now we know that what is uc method we can also apply UC method here so UC method is a simple method to solve this kind of equation we can say this method in uh, book of calculus with analytical geometry written by SM Yusuf and Muhammad Amin so by using UC method equation 25, 26 and 27 is obtained mean we uh, are 
taking derivatives derivatives of these functions put equation 25 and 27 into equation 23 what is named what is equation 23 this is equation 23 so after putting values of 25 and 27 into equation 23 a will be equal to this and uh, putting this, these values f of 5 will be equal to 28 equations uh, what is change in this situation so this is 1 over 1 plus a root of square will be equal to this and f of y final solution will be equal to this and we can write also it as equation 29 or equation 30 using 13 and 14 condition in 16 now we will use this condition in equation 16 so uh, f of a will be equal to 0 and f of minus a will also be equal to 0 so use these uh, values in equation 30 so the equation will be 31 and uh, if f of a is equal to 0 we will if we use this in uh, 30 then 32 is obtained and equation 31 minus equation 32 if we uh, subtract these two equations then c2 is equal to 0 similarly uh, if we put value of c in equation 19 so c1 will be equal to this put these values of c1 and c2 in equation 30 so this is the final solution of uh, our topic pulsating flow between two parallel plates. So this is our final topic which is clear and for further we will discuss more topics about fluid dynamics. So please like share and subscribe this channel for further updates and relevant queries and questions and for help so thank you very much